guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Virus Investigations. This time, your boy is coming in. I know that I've been shitting on a lot of you people that use Microsoft Windows. I get it, dude, I use Microsoft Windows myself, but I, I feel like this whole series has basically been me shitting on Windows, okay? And not just shitting on it, but shitting on, like, Windows 98, okay? Windows 98 didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It's fucking decades old. Windows 98 is dead, all right, I'm picking on a fucking dead guy for all I know. But ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at Macintosh. Whoo, boy. So uh, how many of the viewer base uses a Mac? I want to actually know in the comment section below. I would actually argue quite less. And no iPads and iPhones don't fucking count. I'm talking about Macs, all right? Because Macs, ladies and gentlemen, have always touted themselves as virus-free to an extent. There was a lot of advertising, I remember back in the days, where a lot of claims were that Windows or PCs get viruses and Macs don't. And to this day, ever since those advertisements, there's still people falling for this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, let me break down the myth. Everything can get a virus, okay? You think the fucking NSA using, like, what, Rock Linux don't invest a significant amount of time into securing their cyberspace? You think they're not scared of fucking malware? No, 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 no. Everyone is scared of malware, and everything can get malware. Uh, it's like rule 34 of the internet, okay? Just make a new fucking rule. Make it a rule that anything that can connect to the internet and runs basic programs can get a virus, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the nature of the situation. So today's virtual machine of choice was using Macintosh. Now over here I actually have a Mac OS High Sierra system running over here. Uh, call, call it whatever you want, want, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a Mac OS right now. I'm running High Sierra. Now, the virus we're running in today's situation is considered a joke program. It is one that's going to destroy every aspect of OS X, OS 10. So the virus that we're actually covering today, ladies and gentlemen, as I actually get this DMG file set up, is uh, Lose Lose. So Lose Lose is basically a malware that essentially is a simple program that's disguised, and as soon as you run it on your OS X system, the enemies inside of that you destroy each correspond to a single file um, on your device. Uh, and I believe this is randomized. I don't think it has any method to the madness. So basically, when you're running any program and you're killing these, uh, when you're running this program and you're killing monsters inside, you're effectively deleting files off of your drive, and you're deleting them in in a way that it is a destructive delete, it's not just simply putting it in the recycle bin. So you have to remember exactly what you're getting into with that situation. So basically what we've done over here is we've got a high Sierra system, I got VirtualBox, Oracle's VM, and I installed OSX Mountain Lion. Uh, and even to install OS Mountain Lion was a fucking cluster fucking of itself. So we're going to actually start it real quick. It's a very simple system, nothing much to it. I'm actually going to get it running re right here real quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Just minimize that out of the way. And if, if, if willing, we should be able to launch this and uh, see something. Um, I hope. I really hope. I've been sitting around trying to install this for a little bit. So after a little bit of time, I actually realized that I could not get this on as easily as I wanted to, so I had to rely on some cloud services to get myself uh, with this folder. But one thing you don't want to do with this virus in particular, and uh, it's one of the weird parts of the, the one off times of using a virtual machine is you do not want to make sure this uses shared folders or any way connect back to your home CPU in terms of file structuring and file storage because this has the ability if you share a folder with it to go into that file itself to go into your host folder and start deleting shit as well. Now I believe it can all, it's contained to pretty much what you give it but again you don't want to lose anything on your home drive it's why we're using VMs in the first place right? So here's a game lose lose is a game about choice and consequence and by extension what it means to succeed or fail. You play the role of a space captain on a seemingly endless quest to destroy attacking aliens. You receive one point for each alien you kill. You have one life, and if an alien touches you, you will explode. If you manage to kill all the aliens without dying, you will win the game. Control your ship with the arrow keys, and shoot with spacebar. So, this is basically a game where you are obviously going to lose-lose. Each alien is procedurally generated out of a file on your computer. When you kill an alien, the file that is created from it is destroyed. So I think one of the things that I'm going to do is, we'll move this README up over here, and I guess what kind of is the case is, as we're playing, let's move this, I don't know, Google Chrome DMG, for example, and from what I can really gather is, if we're playing this game, theoretically, the more and more we should play this, these files will disappear. So let's just quickly hit start and play the game as much as we can. It can't start because of an unaptive, uh, it's simple. Uh, I think you have, I think you hit come. Uh, what do you hit? Control to run it? This is also a reason why Macs uh, typically, typically stay away from the virus. They're so fucking controlling. So I think you have to go to security, I believe? Security settings is where it's at. And I think if you click the lock, for example, just unlock that real quick, hit anywhere, 
I mean, really, you should be allowed at any point, right? So at this point, we are fucked to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. Let's lose, lose, hit open, and we'll get right into the game. So here it is. Playing lose, lose will likely result in files on your hard drive. So at least you've been warned. But I want to show you guys sort of, I guess, one of the technical viruses. Oh, my God. Holy shit! The enemies are strong. My God. Okay, so fun fact, it just totally fucking wiped itself from the game, so you literally only have one life to go, holy shit, okay, so we can just, the thing about it is, luckily we can remove it, and we can just unzip a new lose-lose file, provided this one doesn't actually get deleted, right? Can I uh, open that real fast? Uh, right over here. And we can just keep starting from fresh until we actually lose our file, so it really comes down to, basically, if you're not good at these games, then fuck, I guess you're gonna be safe, but let's, uh, let's get going, man. Any key to continue, any key to begin, shoot with space, okay. So, gotta, oh my fucking god, it is retarded. Okay, there we go, we got rid of one file, we got rid of one file, holy shit, it's even actually listing the names if you can look at them real carefully, and the system is, wow, oh my, oh my, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the hell, it got rid of itself, dude. It, it actually straight wiped itself in the middle of the playthrough, what the fuck? Okay, hold on, wait a minute, re-let re, re, it, okay, let it go, let it go again, let it start up again. Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to get rid of those DMGs. Can I do that, please? <laughs> yeah, you actually can't do it as much, like if you leave it to the side, look at these file structures, it's still gonna get wiped out, right? So hit start. I don't know Max actually allowed that, that's new for me. Okay, hit the arrow keys to begin. Oh. Wow, oh, oh, it did wipe out! You saw that shit right there on the fly, it wiped out of something, that's crazy. And it, it just keeps killing itself, dude. No, it did it, it did it. Okay, I don't know what it is, man. I, th I think the, <laughs> dude, what the, f oh, I just realized it's wiping out the data folder inside, oh. So it's actually wiping out the graphics as we're playing. That's the bad part about this is, is that you actually can't play this game pretty extended because it, it actually, I don't have enough programs in the system to, uh, it basically it's just, it's literally linking to this game itself. So that's why the data was gone in that last little section. So we can start, for some reason my ship does not spawn, but I mean, I guess I can do the, oh. It just, it, yeah, it just killed itself. And as you can see, it got rid of all those files over there. And I'm pretty sure at certain points, it's actually gonna start going into, I wanna say the system directory. So I think if I go to, um, what is it, finder view, I believe there is a way for me to look at my actual drives itself on the Apple system. So let me actually try that real quick. Yeah, so here we're actually in our actual Mac OS right over here. So you, right over here, this is the drive that I have OS installed to, right? So if I open that up, I can actually see in applications, you know, things can, are things disappearing? I don't believe that things are disappearing. All my utilities seem pretty untouched. All right, if I go to say the system directory and the library folders, I don't believe I can actually see everything over here. I think if I go to, uh, I'm not even gonna, wait, get info? Is that gonna show me all hidden uh, files and file extensions? No, um, I, I, I all right, well, the, the, regardless, at some point, it's gonna start digging in. So it's actually getting rid of itself before it can actually touch, any, touch anything else. So while it has gotten rid of uh, pretty much everything in my download stack, it's gotten rid of a fair chunk of stuff. The problem is the virus itself keeps killing um, itself in the, in the same situation. So the program is autonomously malicious, and the problem with that is, is that it's malicious to itself most often of the time. So one more attempt, we'll try going around over here, see if anything gets busted. So yeah, let's... Um Let's go down over here. I mean, the gameplay is actually fine. It's got some nice effects and shit, but the fact that I can't play the game or anything, you know, what the fuck, right? So text, zip files, you can actually see what you're wiping out. Right there, it just did it. It literally got rid of it. In fact, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It got rid of the actual file that I used to contain the game and relaunch it every time. So you see the zip file, it's all gone at this point. So uh, shit, um, it seems like my mountain lion is pretty fucking compromised, but that's why we have virtual machines. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and completely wipe this bitch out from existence and forget that this little experiment actually ever happened. Let's go through a uh, power off and uh, we'll leave it where it's at. Let's just, um, let's just go hit remove, all right? R delete all files, just wipe it. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. We sent this thing to the god of the recycle bin. So what have we learned today? We have learned that Macs are, can in fact have malicious programs. Just because your system runs on FreeBSD doesn't exactly mean that you are the safest bastard out there. Macs, while a weaker part of the overall spectrum, uh, there's definitely far less people who use Macs than who use Windows, but there are still people, and trust me, if you aren't vigilant enough, you will get infected, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I was covering my Windows lads all the time and I was looking at telemarketer scams and here and there. So I figured, you know, let's take a look at a joke program, one that will actually warn you. Remember, not every program is this nice. And you saw that without me giving any form of administrator privileges, this thing was willing to wipe out files. So assuming a program like this didn't fucking tell you that there was issues, you might have lost your photos, you might have lost your folders, you might have lost specific key files, who knows what you could have lost. But I'm pretty sure Mac is capable of defending it nowadays, I would hope, but what I also am going to do is end the video right now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, just like we dislike it. Let this be known, Windows users. Even Apple has issues, especially when it comes to security. Maybe not as much, but <laughs> as you saw right now, it can be pretty fucking threatening. Hopefully none of you are using Mountain Lion, or Mavericks, or fucking whatever, whatever other bird that they're, or lion that they're using. Uh, hopefully you've updated to High Sierra or something like that, ladies and gentlemen, because stay updated, stay vigilant. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.